Welcome back to the Twitter for Beginners series. Twitter allows you to add a little bit about yourself to your profile to share with your friends and lets you choose what you want to be notified about. To set up your profile, go into your settings and then account. You can enter your real name so people will recognize you even if they don't know your Twitter username. You can also change your username, but remember the first episode in this series, it must be original. You can change your email address, set your time zone, and even add the URL if you have another blog or website you'd like to share. You can also choose to add your Twitter posts to your own blog or website by following the instructions for the service you use here. You can add a brief bio, but make sure it's under 160 characters. You can add your location, choose your preferred language, and you can choose to protect your updates, which means that you must approve someone before they can see what you post to Twitter. The Notices section allows you to choose what you would like to receive email updates about from Twitter. You can choose to receive a nudge if you haven't posted anything new to Twitter in the last 24 hours. This means that you'll receive a reminder to post an update to Twitter, which could be useful when you're first getting started. You can choose to see all of your replies to your posts in the timeline, from anyone who's replying to you, from the people you're following, or to never see them in your timeline. I'll go over what your timeline is and replies in the sixth episode in this series. You can choose to receive an email notification when someone starts to follow you on Twitter, when someone sends you a direct message, and choose to receive updates from Twitter about the service itself. Just click Save to save your changes. Remember, there are 10 parts to this series, so don't forget to check out the other episodes in the Twitter for Beginners series.